Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing what I have packed for my baby's hospital bag. But I'm also going to be doing a separate video soon for what I've packed in my hospital bag. So this one is just the baby's hospital bag and then I'm going to be having a separate one because it's probably not all going to fit in there. But this is the bag I have. It's just this white bag. It's also going to be my baby bag. So just what I take out with me whenever I go out with him and put all of his stuff in. So yeah, I'm just going to show you what I'm taking to the hospital with me. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you want to see what I've got in my baby's hospital bag then please keep watching so I'm just gonna start off with everything that I've got inside obviously this is quite a big bag and I've just got everything that the baby is going to need while he's at the hospital some clothing options some things that he'll need to stay clean and just some things to like keep him safe so the first thing that i have packed is some nappies because obviously these are very very essential so i just have these pampers ones and i feel like you can't go wrong with these these are like the most like popular ones yeah i just got these and they're a pack of 24 so i reckon that will last me because i'm gonna be in the birthing unit and you can be discharged within like six hours if you have a normal birth i think you can be discharged from the regular labor ward if you have a normal birth also within like six hours so i'm sure this is going to be enough even if i stay overnight it's still going to be enough so this is really handy to have so the next thing i decided to pack was just some cotton pads because these are really good to clean the baby's face when you're in hospital if they get some like stuff on their face and you can just wet it with some warm water and go over their face with it so i packed those I've also packed some baby wipes there's quite a lot in here so i definitely think these will last me these ones are very sensitive like water wipes so they don't have like any fragrance or anything which i think is best for newborns you can even use just like cotton wool and water but i'm just going to use these because they are really sensitive and just in case like he's sensitive because you never know what the baby's going to be like until it's born so i thought these would be quite a good option so next thing i decided to pack was just some dummies so obviously i'm not sure if he's going to like like them but there's a chance that he probably will and there's a little blue one and a white one i think i've probably showed this in like a baby haul video before um, but yeah, so just in case maybe it will like keep him comforted or something. I thought these would be a good idea Last thing out of like the toiletry supplies that I'm bringing is just some nappy sacks because obviously you need to put your nappies in them Or they're gonna stink and you don't want to be letting other people smell the bins and they're horrible So I just thought why not so got them and now I'm gonna be moving on to like the clothes and like the clothing that i've brought for him and everything that he's gonna wear also the coming home outfit so you're gonna get to see that too so the first thing i've packed is this it is just an outdoor suit this is in case it is cold so obviously i am gonna be having him either in march or february so it's possibly still gonna be cold in fact it's most likely gonna be cold so just like to go from like the hospital to like the house i bought this just in case it's a little knitted all in one it's really cute it has a little thing on top of the hat and it has some nice buttons and i just thought this would be really really nice and warm next i have the coming home outfit so it's nothing special it's just what i'm gonna put on him because obviously you can take like vest and stuff to the hospital but when they actually come home they could wear like something nicer so this is what i've decided so it's a set and it comes with a few different items so first of all it comes with a little bodysuit it is just baby blue with some white stripes which i thought was very um matching with the theme since he's a boy it comes with some tiny bottoms that are gonna go over the top of it they're so tiny and then it also comes with a top as well. So if it's like really cold, I guess he could wear this on top of it as well. I think you can wear it all together, like that's how it comes. But you could either wear it with just the top or just the bodysuit. And it also has this really cute little bow on it right here, which I think is a really lovely detail. And then it also comes with a hat, which is so cute and small. And the last thing it comes with, which is my favorite part, is mittens. They are so cute. They're the same color as the set. They're blue and white. And then they have this little lace trimming around the like cuff. I just don't see how this is gonna fit like 
even a baby because it's so small but i hope it obviously fits so yeah that is what he's going to be wearing to come home in next i am going to show you the vest and baby grows that i've bought so i've only bought like two or three of each because like i said you're really not going to need that many well i hope i don't because i won't have enough but i've got just some plain vests body body vests not really sure what they're exactly called but these are just like t-shirt ones and um, they're just plain white and they have little buttons here and then i just bought another one of them so i'm gonna take two of them with me because i'm sure that will be enough and then i have also some baby grows slash like sleep suits so they're basically the same as that but they're just longer with legs and everything so they're going to be more warm so i bought this white one and then i also bought another white one and then i just bought one more just in case like it gets dirty or something and this one is blue with some little white stripes and i thought like it was nice to just have a little bit of color in there because everything was white i do personally love like plain white colors on babies as you probably noticed but i thought i'd add in a little baby blue one so i've got three of them and then i've got two little vests to go underneath them i also might add a couple more vests um as it comes nearer to the time just depending on how i feel like it's gonna be um i'm probably still gonna add more stuff to this bag it's probably not everything i'm gonna have but for now this is what i have in it and it's most of the stuff so the next thing is just some accessories so i bought a bib i typed up like what you should bring in your hospital bag obviously like i've had like my mum and like my nan helping me with it because you know it's quite like obvious what you need but i also typed it up and it says to bring a bib so i'm bringing a bib um this is just a little plain white one so i washed all of the baby stuff because you're meant to wash your baby's clothes before you put them in them and i also washed all the accessories so this bib literally smells so nice and oh it just smells of babies like it literally just smells of babies already because it's like baby washing powder and stuff and then i also have some socks and mittens so i just bought two pairs of socks oh they're so literally so small um and they smell so nice again they're tiny they're actually so small and i guess these could go like under the baby grows if it's cold or on top however you want to put them and then i just pull <laughs> then i just bought one pair of mittens these are just plain white ones so maybe these will get a bit dirty with like blood or something so i also obviously the coming home up it has its own ones but i thought one pair would be enough so i just done that I also just wanted to show this because I forgot to show it with the toiletries, but I'm bringing some Sudocream, which is just some nappy cream. This one is called um, Natural, so I'm guessing it's a more natural-like version of it, which is even better, um, just in case like he gets sore or something, and I'm sure that they'll help me on when I need to use it, because if I'm being honest, I have no idea. Um, next... Uh, next I have just some flannels um, probably not going to need these because it's very unlikely that he's going to have a bath at the hospital but yet again these could just be to like clean him a little bit like you know because sometimes they have like some like skin on their head and like stuff when they come out so you could just wet these flannels and give him a nice little clean might do it might not but just nice to bring them in case also bring in some muslins just brought two because you're always going to need muslins obviously these ones are just white yet again i wish you could smell all of this stuff because it literally just smells so fresh and nice and just like just so just so nice like i'm really funny like since i've been pregnant with smells and the washing powder that my mum washes like our clothes in makes me feel so sick because it's so strong and i literally oh it's horrible but this one this baby one is like really nice it's just really nice so next i decided to pack some blankets so i've just got one plain white cellular blanket and um, and this can just be the one that he like has when he first comes out obviously they put them in a towel at the hospital i've seen in like videos when they first come out um and then after i could use like this white one so this might get a bit dirty so i've also brought a nicer one that he could be in when he goes home in his nice outfit this is just a gray one it's really soft it's from the white company and it has some little knitted stars on it let's try and show you might not be able to see but it does have them on it and i just thought this was really nice and warm it's quite thick so it's gonna be really nice and snug so i also just wanted to mention they do supply like uh blankets and they also supply something really cute in the hospital i'm going to and i'm not sure about other ones but they give you like little knitted hats when the babies are born they give you some options to pick from so i'm really excited about that i'm definitely going to be using one of them 
um, and they do supply a lot of stuff but obviously you know it's nice to bring your own stuff because that's just what everyone does also can we just look at how nice my baby bag is it's literally lovely it's probably one of my favorite bags in the ball even though it's not for me but yeah that is everything that i've got so far in my baby bag i'm definitely gonna add more stuff to it probably like i said you know like i might find out something else that i need that i haven't realized yet if you guys have any suggestions of other things you think i might need then comment them down below because obviously I'm a first time mum and it's nice to have advice from other mums. Now that I've showed you my bag, I thought I would do a little bump day and just tell you a bit about how I've been feeling because I haven't done an update in ages. So I'm actually 32 weeks plus five days today. I actually had a scan the other day because I did mention in my last video that I'd done the mukbang with my mum and sister that the baby was breech. Um, maybe some of you didn't see it because it was quite a long video, but the baby was breech when I went to one of my midwife appointments. Um, but I had a scan the day before yesterday and he's head down now which is really good so I'm super pleased about that which means that for now hopefully if it doesn't change I can have a natural birth which is what I wanted to have so I'm very pleased about that um my bump is definitely got bigger I'll just show you quickly definitely got bigger um as you can see and it's really sticking out it's just so hard like I did not know that a pregnant belly felt like that. I thought it was quite soft, but mine is actually so hard. It's like a rock. And then sometimes like if the baby moves, it will like stick out like on one side and it feels like there's like a tennis ball sticking out of my belly, which is so weird. And it happens a lot. It's happening like right now. Like he actually does move like a lot which I'm very pleased about. Um, it's good that he's moving. It just shows that, like, that he's healthy and stuff. In the night time, hopefully it doesn't mean he'll be awake that much, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much an update. I also have a very exciting video coming next week. So the next video you see after this is going to be a very exciting one. You can make your guesses down below. Make sure you put your notifications on because you don't want to miss it. But that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. So make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And obviously I upload every single Saturday. So you should click the notification bell because like I said, I have an exciting video coming next Saturday. But I really hope you enjoyed watching everything and I will see you in my next video. Bye.